everybody hear me? Yes. yes. There's yes. an announcement that oh, the recording has started. So. Okay. All right. I'm uh, calling the meeting to order, and it's approximately 5.17. And uh, I guess we'll start off with the uh, approval of the minutes. We have three days Rich, of minutes. can you just to... say the name of the meeting and the date and the time for sure. the recording? Yes. Okay. Uh, this is the Special Project Standing Building Committee meeting um, on Monday, April 27, 2020. And the purpose of the meeting is to uh, discuss Fairfield Woods, school safety program, and Osborne Hill. Three, three, three different projects. Uh, Rich, could I make a motion to approve the minutes of January 27th, February 25th, and March 2nd? Absolutely. Yes, you can make that motion. I, I reviewed them myself, uh, and, and everything seems to be uh, as I recall it to be, uh, I hope um, yep. we can, you know, just move on with it. And if everybody's in and accept and willing to accept the meetings as they were, have been presented, if somebody I'll, I'll second, second it, I'll second the motion. I'll second the motion. <laughs> Rob, this is Rob. Okay. Okay. All in favor, Rich? Yeah, uh, Jane, do you uh, you're all set with it? Yeah, I'm. No, I'm good. Okay. I, I All in favor, I, I wasn't I I um I just wasn't I, at January twenty seventh, so just to note that I but, okay. but have no you'll, objection. You'll, you'll have to abstain from, from that one. Right. I I know they're all combined, that's why I wasn't sure what to say. Mm. Yeah, maybe maybe we should separate them out if because we all weren't there. I don't know. It's up to yeah. you. It's up I'll to make, Richard. Oh, Um, I'm, I'm th- I think we're okay. Uh, you know, we can approve uh, yeah, all three yeah. of them at once. There's, there's not a problem. Yeah. I'll okay. make the note. Um, yeah, the, but the note that James. Okay. Um, the next item is Fairfield Woods Middle School. Um, Sal or Gerald, who wants want to go first? Um, I'll, t- I'll talk first, Gerald Foley. Um, so the, the project is, is now complete. Uh, we've got the, um, I believe, all the paperwork from the architect, and he submitted uh, his final invoices, this, him being uh, Silver Petroselli, their final invoices for the CA services. Okay, and those are the two final the two two invoices that we are going to pass judgment on later on yes. and uh, the yes. on the those are the two that are on the agenda okay good all right that's correct i'm sorry every i i have i was um switching my phone to speaker uh, every you said all the paperwork is complete and everything's done Gerald? yes that's correct okay just want to make sure i didn't miss that anything thank you gerald do we have the um is, is that including the warranties and whatnot? Yeah, the warranties were sent to Sal. Sal can talk yes, to Yes, we have the warranty. Okay, perfect. All right, Gerald, Sal, do you, you have anything that you need to put, get to that? No, uh, the project is complete, uh, and uh, we're, we're happy to finally close this out. For sure. Yeah. Um, do we have to make any sort of... Um, Final statement to the first select woman or anything like that? And, uh, what you can do, Rich, is uh, after the bills are paid, uh, you can send, send me an email and just uh, with the uh, request that I bring it to the board uh, to okay. request that uh, they accept the project. Fair enough. No problem at all. And I'll get, th- I'll get that on the next agenda and... We'll, we'll wrap it all up and do the final paperwork for the state. Okay. So, Gerald, you can um, go over the invoices with us. Okay. So we have um, two invoices for Silver Petroselli. Uh The first one is invoice number 19392, and the amount is $907.50. 
And that's for their um, their CA services. Let me just make sure I get the right month. I believe that's for the month of. They always bill in like in in advance or not in arrears, but in arrears. So that was um, for the month of November. So it was nine hundred and seven dollars and fifty cents for the month of uh, November, and they had billed seven point five hours. At, and that the 7.5 times their hourly rate, which was uh, 121, not to exceed. So um, that's if you multiply that out, it should come out to 907.50. So that that invoice, and then they had a subsequent invoice for the month of February. Wait, 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 wait. Go ahead. I'm just going to stop you on this. Uh, all right, I, I make a motion to approve the, the invoice. Well, give us the number on it. 3290. Right, what was there not? Can I just ask because I don't have the papers in front of yeah, me, the so, budget like? Right, so what they had done is their fee was uh, $6,344. That was the total all-in number that they had bid. Uh, it had billed us on. And so for the invoice that we're just, just talking about, they'll have billed $4,598. So that, that was our not to exceed amount for the extra work? Yeah, we had, they had billed us, um, not billed us, but proposed to us to go $6,344. That was the number they had okay. submitted. Okay. And with this nine hundred and seven fifty, we're at four thousand something. Yeah, four thousand five hundred ninety-eight dollars, including this invoice. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. The motion was made to approve the invoice. Do I have a okay. second on it? Uh, Rod, Rod will yeah, second. second. Okay. All in favor? Aye. 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 Caitlin. Okay, Gerald, the next, next invoice. Okay, so the next one is invoice number 20431. This one's dated uh, March 1st of 2020. And the amount of this invoice is uh, $363. So this one brings our, our total fee for it up to $4,961. I All make right, a motion we approve. To okay, I'm sorry. Okay. Uh, in, invoice 20431 in the amount of 363 to Silver Pecker Shelley. Okay. Oh, I'll second it. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, motion carried on those two. That's all you had as far as I know, Gerald, right? That's just those yeah, two. Yeah, that was the only right? two I had on that project. Yep, all right, those are the ones I saw earlier today. All right, fine. Um, that concludes Fairfield Woods. So um, let's move on to school safety and security. And um, I know that Sal's got a lot or somewhat to say about that. Well, not a whole bunch, Rich. Um, we we uh, turned around the, uh, or Gerald turned around the PO for um, bringing um, Phil Cerrone back on board. Uh, I've scheduled with Phil for a week from Monday. Uh, I believe that's the 4th of May uh, to go and meet at each of the high schools, do a walk around so he can make uh, a final punch list for uh, New England Glass Armor. As far as uh, Sherman, at this point, uh, New England Glass Armor has long outstanding lists that they have not acted on. So they, uh, instead of bringing Phil to reiterate the same list, he, New England Glass Armor should respond to the list that he had. and. Um, and give us a call back when he has that done. Uh, schools are out of session, so he should be able to uh, work quite efficiently. It's now spring. Uh, hopefully within a week or so it, it won't be cold and rainy anymore. We'll get past April showers, and uh, hopefully 
by this time next month we're able to wrap this up. Okay. It's, it's, it's your, I didn't hear, is it your plan to be in attendance when uh, Phil goes there, at least initially, Sal? Yeah, I'll, I'll, tell you, I'll, I'll walk the building with him on April, uh, April on May okay, 4th. Good. All right. Anything else, Sal, on that? Um, no, I mean, at this point, all the, all the projects have been uh, filed for um, progress payments for, uh, uh, for state reimbursement. We've received the money on all these projects up to 85% of, that's the maximum that we can uh, request uh, uh, partial payment on. And once we close out all these buildings, uh, close out all the projects, uh, I'll um, get our board to do a final acceptance and, and file the final paperwork for uh, OSCG and R. So we're in good shape on the on the money end, and then um, the only building left to do is Burr, uh, but that got. Uh, that that'll take some more steps because there's some funding that needs to switch from another account or needs to be requested to switch from another account uh, so that we can um, do the Burr, Burr project because we fell short on cash. Okay. Does anybody have any questions for Sal? No. 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 Oh, okay. All right, um, um, <clears throat> Gerald, you have some uh, update on the financials, right? Uh, let's see. On that one, I did not prepare financial updates. Oh, um, I'll, I will have. I'll, I'll. I can send out an email to everyone to give you an update on that. Thank you. Okay. All right. We. Um, I don't believe I have any invoices for that or anything that we can prove at this point, right? No, there was no invoices. Yeah. All right. Um, if nobody has any questions for Gerald, we're going to move on to Osborne Hill and close that uh, out for the moment. So, hearing none, moving on to Osborne Hill. Let me just get my computer up here. Move it. Um, we had, I know I had signed off on, all right, Sal, you, you want to go over the drawings uh, and so, such, please? Uh, okay, uh, so this weekend I, I sent you all uh, the drawings and specs for the uh, roof replacement at Osborne Hill. Um, at this point, what we need um, is for the building committee to authorize Rich to sign the SCG 042 uh, form, which we have to bring up to OSCGNR when we do our plan review. Uh, that plan review has been scheduled for May 5th, next Tuesday, a week from Tuesday, and uh, a week from tomorrow. And um, we had hoped to get it done this Wednesday, but there still the they the state is still uh, turning around the application the project application uh, I, I've been told that all the paperwork is correct and that they just need to input it into the system but with this whole COVID thing um, getting that final uh, data entry portion done um, has turned into a challenge so we're we're working through that, and it's supposed to be taken care of this week. So that's where we stand. Hmm. Okay. So, go ahead. You, somebody so what we make need needed is some, is for somebody to make a motion to authorize Rich to sign the SCG 042. I'll make a motion. Let Rich sign the OSCG 42. 
I'll second it. Okay. All in favor, aye. 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 Motion carried. So we'll get the, <clears throat> we'll get that done. And Sal, um, can you just spell out the the name of this document? Not spell out, but it's SCG-042. That's it exactly. Okay, perfect. I, I believe we have one invoice. Moving on to the next item. Yes, so we have, this is the uh, invoice to advertise for the architect for the same project. This was uh, right. advertised. I just want to make a comment on that because I was going over all this stuff and I was looking. You can hardly, I, <clears throat> they don't reference a specific project. They just reference Fairfield no. Schools. And, right. Pardon me? Yeah, you're right. You're exactly right. Yeah. So in future, you know, we, okay, well, I got it for this one, but uh in future, they should it should be identified to the specific school that the advertising or the work is being done on. All right. Yeah, what I can, do, yeah, what I can do, and this is an oversight on my behalf, is they send me what's called like a tear sheet, and I I can include that as a po component of the invoice, and it, on that it, it gives you the same number that they reference in the it says newspaper reference, so that same reference number is listed on the, what they call the proof of the tear sheet. Yeah. And you, and you can see a copy of the actual ad. The, the big thing is that if we ever have to go through an audit on this stuff, it's, it's very helpful. And you, it's impossible when you start to go back, but we've been through this stuff. Right. So, uh, yeah, so I, that, 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 that was my fault because I, I, I normally attach them, so I'll have a copy of the invoice, and then I normally scan in the tear sheet, and I also actually take a, an image of the actual newspaper. So I have all those, but I just, it was an oversight on my behalf. I should have sent it. All right, all. okay. You should have multiple Whatever. Sheets. Rich, I, I one clearly thing I, identify the, that invoice with someplace, somewhere uh, with the, the proper school name on it, right? Right. Rich, on, on that statement we got, we sh it shows 790, 90 days past due. Is that for our committee? It's past due, or something else with the town. Uh, well, no, there's there's other ones past due. In other words, so the one that's in the one that's in front of you now is for three hundred and forty-two dollars and eighty cents. So we okay, have we don't a, a bunch. Yeah, yours yours isn't for the full amount of the invoice. Okay, it's only for Thanks. three forty-two eighty. Gotcha. Well, how do we justify huh? this? I mean, how do, how do, we can't approve this this invoice for payment. I guess we can approve just payment three forty two eighty. I would mm -hmm. believe so. Okay. Yeah, that's right. So yeah, so you're paying the current amount that's listed three forty three forty two eighty. And okay. 793 is not part of this group? No. That's something no. else? Okay. Something right. else. Okay. Yeah, that's and a I'll balance make a forward. Sorry, Len. I'll make a motion that we approve the invoice for Hearst Connecticut Media Group in the amount of 342.80. And if we need the date, right, second February 20. Seconded. Okay, great. Thank you. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Motion carried. We have um, also um, a proposal and a purchase order for, uh, for Phil Cerrone. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah, I yeah. sent that just as an exhibit. So it was just as a point of discussion in case um, – so that was the amendment that it was approved a couple months back, and then I just gave you a copy of the PO just for your file. Right. All right. So there's no action required on the part of the no, committee. No, no action was required those. on that yeah. one. Okay. All right. We have any uh, any uh, any further discussion on on uh, Osborne Hill uh, by anybody? No. 
No. Okay. Oh, old I'm business. New no business. Here. No new business. Okay, so that that's that's it. Then I'll make a motion. Can to Make yep. a motion, then, Len. I make a motion. We adjourn, Rich. My favorite okay. motion. <laughs> <laughs> okay, <group. laughs> uh, I oh, second the motion. the motion. Okay. Well, it's favor. Wow, that's right. great. Bye. Bye. That's the way to run okay. a meeting, Rich. Right. Well done. Okay, very good. Be safe. Be careful. Okay, thank you. Right, bye, everybody. Stay well. Thank you. Bye, bye, bye. Okay, bye-bye. 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 Bye-bye.